it's good to practice and we obviously want you to this is part i mean all three of us here too need to practice this as well but um when we start to practice this we can get some mixed reactions especially from people who you know because i what nick was saying there may be people who are just like oh thank god you're finally telling us what you think call okay yeah just bring on the opinions tell me your needs and wants that then they're going to be other people where it's like you're not normally like this why are you all of a sudden what your opinion came out of nowhere when we do get those and maybe there's backlash or negative mixed reactions whatever how do we respond to that? Like, how do we handle that when we know being assertive is healthy for us, but we're getting that negative in return? Yeah, this is a great question because anytime that we tend to disrupt the status quo, initially we are going to get a little bit of, of hurt feelings. Maybe even though that's never our intent, we're not intentionally trying to hurt somebody's feelings. And yet we need to make changes sometimes that for our own physical and mental health that is going to, require us to be more assertive. And so I think it really is, and it depends on the relationship too, because sometimes you do need to offer some form of a explanation. So, and it, like we've talked about during the holidays, this is a great opportunity to practice being assertive because it's a busy season, especially as it gets closer to Christmas. We usually have all of these different events that we're gonna go to. And, and at what point does it become an unrealistic expectation? Like if I have to pack up my kids and go to three different family events in, a, in the same day, that just seems like a lot for it anyone. Is. It is yeah. a lot. It's a lot of food too. <laughs> it is. Oh, so much but food. being able to say that, okay, I can see how, you know, talk with your spouse. I can see that we could do these two things pretty easily and they're close together and it's not going to be very much effort. But this other one, maybe we should have an assertive conversation with that person and say, you know what? We just have a lot going on on this day. Would it be possible for us to get together sometime during the week after Christmas when things slow down? Doing that kind of thing. Because a lot of people, even though it might not meet their expectations, if you have that same level of respect with that person, then to be able to, for them to say, oh yeah, I can see how that would be a lot for you and your kids. And sure, let's just set something up after Christmas. But sometimes even like we've already mentioned, depending on the relationship, that could be a lot of risk and they might not even receive it very well. And it might get to a point where you have to say, I really, you know what, that's just going to be too much for us. So we're not going to be there on that. But if you guys have space in your week next week, let us know and we'll try to work something out. You know, where you just have to say, where you're not really shutting the door, but at the same time you're saying, I'm not really going to engage in this conversation anymore because I don't think I have to because I've already made this decision and it's best for me and my family to do what we've decided. But I'm open to when you have something that is receptive to say or that you have to, if you want to continue this conversation, I'm happy to have it with you. Yeah. Uh, having the because with your statement helps that I, if we're being assertive to say, I, you know, I don't want to go there because here's things going on. Here's the level of stress in my life. Here's other things going on around that same situation that you might not be aware of. Because very often when we're assertive with some of our reasoning and people are able to see like, oh, I, I can understand better what's going on. I didn't realize that. That is you know, more likely, I think, to create a positive outcome. But what else I was thinking about is I don't think we should ever assume that if we're assertive or we speak up and someone has a negative reaction that we did the wrong thing or that we shouldn't have been assertive. And that may be a real battle if we're not accustomed to being very assertive, and especially if we're a people pleaser, you know, raise our hands in the room, that, that wants everybody to like us all the time and approve of everything we do. And then we speak up and maybe share a boundary or something we're not willing to do or an opinion that's not popular. And people disapprove, it's like, oh, I did something wrong, I shouldn't have said that. No, maybe that, that is what you needed to do. So I think just not assuming, and if, if there is, is some negative feedback, being able to reflect on that, maybe take it to someone else and say, man, I, I spoke up at a work meeting and this is the way it went and it created kind of some negativity. Did I do the wrong thing? And um, I think others who care about you and are safe could give you that feedback of, no, that, that needed to be said. And I, I think it's actually going to create really healthy conversation. And then you could respond, you know, and know like, oh, okay, that was a good thing. Or if you were 
practicing assertiveness in a way that did cross the line or go a little too far, a friend can help analyze that too. Of, well, you know, this was really healthy, but when you went on and said, because you're stupid, I think that kind of derailed the conversation. <laughs> you know, obviously that's, <laughs> that's an extreme example, but oh, we might good. be taking the right steps, but, but take it a little too far or not realize that we did veer into something that got right. to be kind of a personal put down. Um, so yeah, just having others that can give us that feedback to either affirm, no, that right. you were right on, I really appreciated that, yeah. or hey, here's maybe a way next time it, it could have been a little better received. Yeah, I think too, doing some mental rehearsal, preparing yourself for receiving disappointment, because obviously, Heather, as you were sharing, I was thinking the holidays are really a time of clashing expectations for mm. so many people. And so when, even when you handle it so perfectly, you don't call them stupid, you give them a good because, you know. Assertive. I don't want to disappoint people. I don't want to hurt their feelings. I don't want to let them down. Um, and maybe that is what's happening, but that still doesn't make you being assertive bad. So I think playing that out a little bit in your head could be helpful mm -hmm. in preparation for those conversations. I think you can also be a little bit proactive with this. I know that I've taken this approach with my sons, especially as they've gotten older and they get married because holidays, the way that we used to celebrate holidays is not going to look the same once they get yeah. married. Yeah. And I recognize that. Yeah. And I also remember being that mom with young kids and having to go all of these places and really it's sucking the joy out of right. the it's season. It's as if these people forgot because, what it's like to have small children. And right, go, yeah. right. And right. so, and then also with having military sons where the holidays are just another day and they've been deployed over the holidays. And so I think that my expectations have always been to give my kids permission to do whatever works best for them. And I've even been setting this up for the last three years of saying, I love that we can do this together, but when you have kids, because kids are a game changer, but when you have kids, just know that I'm going to be flexible and, you know, and that you guys get to do what's best for you. And so this holiday season is the first one with a grandbaby. And even the last couple of years being able to say, you know, if Christmas Eve or Christmas Day doesn't work, but yet the 26th or the 27th works, where as they have children it's going to change our holiday season and yet I don't want it to be a negative thing so how can we keep it positive even in the midst of it yeah yeah I like what you're saying there that you're basically giving other people permission to be assertive you're you're inviting it you're saying I, I want you to tell me your needs I want you to mm -hmm. speak up about the reality of your situation I want you to tell me if I'm overstepping or creating unrealistic expectations, please speak up. And so I, I think if we do feel like people around us maybe do wrestle with being assertive, we know they tend to go passive or they just, they wanna be a pleaser, that's a role we can play to help. And so 